Good morning, Warriors, and happy November 7th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed a little extra sleep this morning uh, with the daylight savings uh, fall back an hour. So I hope you're refreshed and ready to go for a strong week. We have two and a half weeks until Thanksgiving. It's hard to believe, uh, but Thanksgiving break is just around the corner, which means the end of the semester is also just around the corner. I said it last time and I'll say it again. Check those grades, check those missing assignments, whatever it is, uh, and make sure that you are attacking it in these next two weeks. Set yourself up uh, for a great finish to the semester so that when you return after Thanksgiving, you don't have any missing assignments, you don't need to play catch up, that your grades are where you want them to be, and then you can uh, finish the last four weeks strong before uh, Christmas break. So, that said, my friends, I hope you make this the best uh, November 7th, 2022 you've ever had and have a tremendous week. Good morning, Warriors. Welcome back. I'm Zach Bowen. And I'm Jaden Boggs. Today on Warrior News, birthdays, Warrior updates, the menus, sports schedules, pop culture, and I will talk to you about the LRC. Now, here's the birthdays for the week of November 6th through the 12th. Wawasee High School will hold a Remembrance Convocation in honor of Veterans Day this Friday during Warrior Time. If you know any veterans, we encourage you to invite them. Wawasee Performing Arts is offering a VIP ticket that includes preferred seating and a catered meal by Mr. Bauer and his culinary experts for the fall play, Murder on the Orient Express, this weekend and next. Dinner will be on the dining car of the Orient Express and will be served by several characters in the cast. Dinner is at 5 p.m. for all four evening shows. Tickets are $50, $40 if you are a Wawasee employee and include your show ticket and meal. There are a limited number of VIP tickets available. Tickets for just the shows are also available. Email Mrs. Bonner for more information. Auditions for the spring musical, Tuck Everlasting, will take place in the auditorium December 12th through the 15th after school. There is an audition form on the Drama Club bulletin board outside Ms. Bonner's room, A108. Everyone is invited to the audition. Ms. Bonner is encouraging you to try something new. The audition form must be filled out and signed by a parent before auditions. The winter athletic season is underway. We encourage you to attend these events and show your support for your fellow Warriors. Athletes, Mr. Doty did send out an email last Wednesday with the updated winter sports picture dates and times. A friendly reminder that the financial aid information meeting is tomorrow night, November 8th, in the Wausee High School cafeteria from 6 to 7 p.m. Extra help will also be discussed from 7 to 8 p.m. on how to fill out the FAFSA application. Students are encouraged to attend with their parents or guardians. Thanksgiving break will be Wednesday, November 23rd through Friday, November 25th. The hangar is open to students now. Every Friday, the women of today will be working it. Passes have been created for the classrooms. There are only two passes for each classroom, and only one person per pass can go down. You will go down during warrior time where you will be assisted in finding what you need. After you are done, you are to put your items in your locker and return to warrior time. 
Thank you to the group Women of Today for providing this opportunity for our students. Adults, tickets are still available for a trip to Chicago on Saturday, December 10th. Enjoy shopping on Michigan Avenue and other attractions in downtown Chicago. Tickets are $45 each. Board at Wallace Middle School at 8 a.m. and return approximately at 10 p.m. Get your tickets now before they sell out by emailing dblair at dblair at wallace.k12.in.us. Students in the marching band, your annual banquet will be held next Monday, November 14th. Make sure to speak with Mr. Palicki if you have any questions. The Fall Athletics Award Ceremony will be in the auditorium next Wednesday, November 16th at 6.30 p.m. Breakout sessions for each team will follow. Now, here's Sydney with this week's menus. Thank you, Zach. Let's look at what's on this week's menus. Remember, all menu items are subject to change. All breakfast meals are served with grab-and-go items. Tomorrow for breakfast, yogurt parfait. Wednesday, French toast bites. Thursday, biscuit and gravy. Friday, ham, egg, and cheese English muffin. And next Monday, pancake sausage stick. For your lunch today, general sew chicken over rice or quesadilla. Tuesday, chicken bacon flatbread or Mexican pizza. Wednesday, homemade chili with Bosco stick or Polish sausage on bun. Thursday, chicken tenders with sauce or mac and cheese. And Friday, calzone with bar or barbecue rib sandwich. Enjoy this week's breakfast and lunch. And when you go to the cafeteria, remember to thank staff for doing an amazing job. I'm Sydney Ewing. Back to you, Jaden. Thank you, Sydney. Now here's Jet with Pop Culture. Thank you, Jaden. Let's see what's happening in pop culture. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer came out last week. Ant-Man and the Wasp will be battling Kang the Conqueror in the quantum realm. The third film in the popular Ant-Man series has returning cast of Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, Evangeline Lilly as Wasp, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Jonathan Majors. And new co-star Katherine Newton as Ant-Man's daughter. Catch in theaters February 17th, 2023. Ticket to Paradise is a new comedy romance movie that came out October 21st. The movie stars George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Here's the excerpt. A man and his ex-wife race to Indonesia to stop their daughter, played by Caitlin Dever, from marrying a seaweed farmer. As they desperately try to sabotage the wedding, the bickering duo soon find themselves rekindling old feelings that once made them happy together. For celebrity news, Grammy-nominated rapper Takeoff died last Tuesday outside a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. He was attending a private party from a rap artist at the time. He was shot and found dead at the scene. The, rapper com the rapper's community pays his tribute on social media. This has been your pop culture update. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Jet. Now, here's Braxton with the sports schedule. Good morning, Wawasi. Some more Lady Warrior sports are happening this week. Tomorrow, girls basketball will host Fairfield. Friday, girls basketball will travel to Westview. And on Saturday, the girls wrestling team will travel to East Noble. Let's get out there and support those Lady Warriors. Thank you, Braxton. This week, I had the opportunity to see what is happening in the LRC. Good morning, Warriors. With me, I am Ms. Faubel from the LRC. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, with the new school you're starting up, how's the library doing? Like, is there anything new going on? It's doing actually great. We've had students checking out books probably more um, than the last few years, and right as um, actually the very first day of school, I started checking out books. So it's been wow. a great few weeks. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it. Students, did you know that you could get a pass for Warrior Time to go to the library? Ms. Falwell and I talked about Warrior Time passes. Warrior Time is a little different than the other periods um, because instead of getting a pass from a teacher during a regular period to come mm -hmm. to the LRC, um, students are supposed to request a pass from me. So prior to Warrior Time, um, it can be any time as early as 7.30 when I come, students can come down and request um, that I fill out the new form for the mm -hmm. spreadsheet that we're having during Warrior Time um, to let their Warrior Time know that I've um, gone ahead and given them permission to come to the library. Uh -huh. So all they need to do is come to me. I'll take the information as far as the Warrior Time teacher um, and I'll fill out that form and then um, students can come down after the announcements and sign in here at the LRC. 
One little difference um, that people may not be aware of is that if they're just wanting to come down students for a short period of time to pick up a print, um, which is done often throughout warrior time, yeah. or whether they want to check out a book and they're just going to be here for maybe five or ten minutes to do one of those two things, um, then they can get that, those passes from their teacher. And I've made a blue laminated book pass and like a green laminated printer pass that they just carry with them in the hall. And it also lets me know they've been given permission to come to the LRC. Yeah. So that's kind of how warrior time um, works as far as that's concerned. Awesome. Um, so like whenever they get here, where do they go to check in? Do they find you? Do they just go have a seat? How does that work for us? Very, very good question. Right as you enter the main area of the LRC, there's a computer directly in front of you. Um, it's a sign-in computer and there's a bright green sign on it. Similar to like when you check in and out of the attendance office, mm -hmm. um, there's a form um, that will just ask a couple questions. Um, where are you coming from? What are you here to work on? Um, and it just allows me to have a list of all the kids that are in the area at any given time since I don't yeah. have a roster and I have kids coming and going all the time. So yeah. it's helpful, helpful um, to me um, and it's good um, also for me to know who's coming and going when. In the LRC, there are two breakout rooms. One is called the Think Tank and the other is called the Hub. In the two rooms, teachers can bring in their class and have lessons. Both rooms have a Ben Q board in there so that students and teachers can present. And uh, what are some of your goals this year for the library? Like any new ones, any old ones that you still want to achieve for this year or anything like that? Good question. Um, there's an ongoing goal that I continue to have as a librarian or a media specialist, and that is to see kids um, checking out books for um, recreational reading, just for reading that they can enjoy on their own, something that they can come in and pick out their kind of book, whether that's a mystery, historical fiction, realistic fiction, and something that they can spend some of their downtime on, yeah. maybe warrior time, before school, after school, on weekends. Um, recreational reading is so good, not only for um, kids, young adults, but adults also. Yeah. Um, so my big goal um, is to continue, and this is a continuing goal, but I'm really wanting to work hard on it. Um, with a group of students in the Student LRC Advisory Board, um, our big goal is to increase students coming in to check out books to read for recreational reasons. Um, and so we're going to have a new rewards, reading rewards program starting the awesome. second nine weeks, trying to encourage students um, and their peers um, to come into the LRC or um, to pick up a book, um, you know, when they have downtime, when they're done with their studying, yeah. um, during warrior time. Um, and the rewards program is going to be a lot like a rewards program that you might see at Star Starbucks or some um, different um, um, businesses where when you check out a book you get a whole punch on a bookmark that's going to be made and available to students and then there's going to be some rewards and things that go on throughout the year and at the end of the year. So we're still making some decisions and putting that together this nine weeks and we're hoping to have that out next nine weeks and hoping that um, advisory board members out there speaking to their peers and having this program will encourage kids to read a little more. Awesome. Alrighty, Ms. Falbo. Well, thank you for joining me today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Alrighty. Now back to the studio. Thank you for watching Warrior News this week. Signing off, I'm Zach Bowen. And I'm Jaden Boggs. From all of us here at Warrior News in the CPG TV studios, we thank you for watching. See you next week for more Warrior News.